Have you been scouring the market for the right property or the perfect properties and you think you found a couple or a few and you want to go ahead and you know put offers in for them so you can secure them but you're looking at the guy price and you're like mm, is that the right price I want to you know put forward or what is the right price then you've come across the right video in this video I cover what sort of prices you should be looking to put forward what things you need to like account for and and what to think about before putting it off forward right welcome to the video around offers on my how to buy a property series i'm gonna dive straight in it's a quick video um the first thing is you don't want to spend money you don't have so you want to consider a few things there are multiple fees when you're you know going ahead including the broker fee you know for arranging it the mortgage fee because they take a they take a fee for arranging the, the, their product as well as well as a, a, a multitude of other fees including the valuation which can go up to you know 250 quid i've got a list here uh, you've got the survey um fee which can be you know 400 to 700 which is optional however i would highly recommend it just in case you know there's something in the house that's there's, there's something structurally wrong in the house i've had an issue like that and it's bit me you know in the backside so i would definitely be you know spending that extra for the survey and a good survey at that a couple other fees you need to think about is you know the stamp duty of course don't forget about that but then there's also the land registry fee and the conveyancing fee which can add up to you know uh, you know 1500 to 2000 altogether so these are things you need to think about and you know don't think it's just a deposit or just a deposit and the stamp duty and you know that's it there's there's a few fees that add up while you're purchasing a property so take that into consideration when putting you know when getting ready to put an offer forward something else you want to consider is you know when you go and view the property and it's got all these things in there because the previous owner hasn't you know moved out you want to find out what fixtures and fittings are you know going to be left there is there going to be a tv is there going to be a sofa whatever it is get something in writing so you know you can account for that and think about it really sometimes they they charge too much you know they either got a tv for 2000 when it came out now it's probably worth 300 but sentimental value they think oh it's a grand extra you know the, the seller i'm talking about so you want to take these in consideration um if, if they do overcharge for the sofa or the tv you're better off saying look we don't want it one of the most important things is of course do your own due diligence go on right move i've made a video you know previously on how to look for sold like for like comparables um just you know go on to right move search sold prices and check out the area what kind of prices you know three four whatever whatever bedroom house or flat is going for so you know what you know what what properties compare to it because like i've said before in multiple videos is that sellers are you know overconfident on the price they can get especially in a market like we're in right now they overvalue their property and usually they're way off and obviously the agent who wants their business is going to be like okay yeah we'll, we'll try to put that forward at that price you know and some agents just want the business and they'll put it forward so you know even though you can afford it um, or you really like the property it might not be worth it because once you get to the mortgage or you know when when they start doing evaluation and you know you've accepted an offer at 500 and the property is 400 you know you're going to be you're going to be lost there because you're going to have to increase you know what how much deposit you put on or however the lender wants to work with that at that point also keep in mind that you know if you're buying a property that's already done up and it's perfect that's great but say it needs maybe an updated bathroom or you know new tiles in the kitchen something like that keeping you know think about the renovation costs post post um purchase you know you you need to go and buy the furniture you know this is things that you might not think about initially and a lot of people don't you know you just want to like, like you know i want to get the house let's get the house and then you're like what well, am i going to be sleeping on, on the floor you know <laughs> but it, it, i know it might be sound simple but these are the sort of things you might want to think about uh furnishing the property and you know extra stuff renovating it up etc so that's that's another point there like, like i said it's a short video there's not much to think about as long as you're paying you know not way over um the, the expected price you know what kind of price you know the, the, that is valued at uh then you should be all right make sure you do the sold like for like comparables look at what a 60 foot two bed goes for you know or whatever the property is comparable to the property you're looking at uh, one other thing i'll say is you know especially when you're buying properties for yourself you can get really attached with with, with it's buy to let look numbers 
demand, that's it. But when it's for yourself, you'll be like, oh my God, I really like that patio, or oh my God, that kitchen's beautiful. And, and then you start getting you know, too emotionally attached and, and that's when you start overspending or putting offers that are silly. So what I'd say is to keep yourself away from that is view multiple properties, have a short list of properties where you're quite happy with any of those, you know? There's always gonna be the favorite, but then you'll see like if that person is suddenly asking for 600 and, the other, and, your, and number two on your list is, you know, similar spec, but it's 500, this, this guy is basically just charging you way too much, you know? Is, is that 100K worth that, you know, coffee machine in the, in the kitchen? I mean, it's not gonna be that silly, but these are things you wanna think about. And especially now, with the stamp duty holiday and inflation rates at you know a soaring high, uh, investors are buying anything and everything as long as it can beat the inflation rate. So, you know, at this point, at this time, trying to secure yourself a property that's either yielding good as a normal, you know, average buy to let investor or yourself, which is something nice, um, you're going to be you know going against people that are just parking their money. They're not too worried how much they spend on the property as long as their yield is better than four percent. So. It's a hard time, so don't get overtake. You know, don't, don't get too involved where you're then suddenly at a bidding war with, you know, an investor who really doesn't care how much he's going to spend on that property. You're going to have issues with the mortgage. You're going to have issues later on selling it. You know, imagine buying a house and selling it five years later and you made a loss because, you know, it's a couple of things you need to think about. Don't get too emotionally attached. Uh, but that's about it. Once you put a number of offers in, one of them or some of them are going to get accepted. Nothing is legally binding, even when it's accepted. Now you're just choosing how if you've got multiple offers accepted well done to you now you just choose which one you're going to go with um nothing is legally binding until you get you, you know you get exchange contracts which is still right away you still got to do legals you know get the survey done etc etc that's it for the video guys you know you if you've got yourself an uh, offer accepted mini celebration but you know again nothing is legally binding yet um if you want to learn more about this process, I've got this video series on how to buy a property. It's for the new guys that haven't done it before, they just want some confidence in it. Check out my channel, it's got like a playlist there. I cover it from beginning to end. We're like somewhere in the middle now, you know, in between getting offer accepted. You know, the, the due diligence prior to, you know, putting an offer down is key. So check out my previous videos. Um, I hope you took a lot of value from this. I know this is a short one, but if you did, please give us a like and a comment and I'll catch you next time. Listen!